back by popular demand. It's SES's sixth grade reporter, Xander. I'm here to give you an update on the Building Hearts and Minds project. I'm currently standing by the second through fifth grade pod, and across the hall is the middle school pod. It's currently under construction, and I'd like to show it to you. Come on. The first thing you'll notice are the super high ceilings and skylight in the beautiful new middle school commons area. To my right are the four classrooms, and directly behind me is the fifth classroom. This is where grades 6, 7, and 8 will be doing most of their learning this year. I'm standing right now inside one of the locker areas. Each middle school student will get a brand new locker. I know we're all excited about that. Now let's go take a peek inside a classroom. As a sixth grader, new to middle school, I thought I'd get a little advice from an SES middle school veteran. So that's why I'm standing here today with an SES eighth grader, Sawyer. Sawyer, thanks for being here. My pleasure. Sawyer, can you tell us where we are in the middle school pod? Right now we are in Mr. Van Drunen's brand new science lab. Can you tell us any interesting features about this room? Unlike Mr. V's old classroom, he has five windows now instead of one. For those of you keeping score at home, that's a 500% increase in natural light. Anything else you'd like to share with us, Sawyer? I am really excited that the middle school will finally have a new pod and place to call their home. Thanks for being here, Sawyer. You're welcome. Well, that wraps up today's Building Hearts and Minds update. If you would like to contribute, join us at SheboyganChristian.com building. See you next time.